this video, we are going to talk about Aussie Broadband. Yes, the ticker code ABB and the share price has dropped by 30% in May 2022 down to about $3.90 per share. This video is my reply to our subscriber Citation AU. So thanks for the question. The reason as of why I didn't respond as soon as possible because I still have doubts and I'm not exactly sure with the future with this company. Although anyone who invests in ABB, Aussie Broadband since IPO, they would have doubled their money or 60% return of share price growth. Now, as of April 2022, the share it has a market capitalization about $900 million, which is a huge increase from its IPO valuation of about $180 million. And it seems like the company is doing well. The revenue keeps increasing. Uh, this is from the financial year 2021. The revenue reached $350 million, up from the previous year of $190 million. However, Despite being the fifth largest NBN provider in Australia, they still haven't reported a profit. So although the revenue doubles, more or less, from 190 to 350, they still reported a net loss of four million dollars in 2021. I'm not a telco company expert, but I understand that telco company is a capital intensive business. And if you're willing to invest in ABB, you need a strong conviction or a good idea of its future earnings. 10, 20 years from now. And also, you got to think about the competition with Telstra because Telstra for the past 10 years, they always reported a net profit and a return of equity between 20 to 30%. And that's Telstra. And if we look at the balance sheet of Aussie Broadband in financial year 2022, they reported a negative equity of $20 million. And maybe that's why they went public to raise about $36 million. It's quite peculiar because why don't you just borrow those money from the bank? And it seems like on the first half of financial year 2022, there is an improvement. That is the gross revenue increase from 160 million compared to the prior corresponding period to about 237 million. However, the net profit is really small, just 1.4 million profit. And if you look at the December 2021 balance sheet, it seems like the business is doing well because the net asset has grown from 60 million to about 190 million. But that's not from the business doing better. It's from the capital raising they've done to raise about 114 million. So you got to think about share dilution as well when you invest in this company because you don't know when this company will become Profitable. And here is the details of capital raising in September 2021. That's why Citation AU, I'm sorry I cannot give you more, but I still have my doubts with this company because I'm still not sure with its future earnings. Although they have 1,200 kilometers of internet lines, but generally, if you're unsure, let's just give it some time and keep studying the business. Thank you.